Hi, Aspirin. This is Ranjit from Shankar IAS Academy. So today we'll discuss about combined graduate level examination notification. So around 20,000 vacancies are announced in this applications. So the date for submission of online application between 17-9-2022 to 8-10-2022. Around hardly we have uh, 20 days of time in our hand to fill the applications. Last date and time for receipt online application 8 10 2022 23 0. For, for example, uh, like 11 o'clock, that is the last time. Uh, please uh, avoid uh, last minute of uh, applications because uh, you may facing a, a server problem. So that's what I say. You have to done the, done your application. So before that eight or uh, before that seven seven ten twenty twenty two. The next one, uh, last date of time for making online fee payment, 9-10-2022, even generation of offline uh, chalan. So uh, uh, that is also 8-10-2022. So there are two options available. You are going to pay the payment online mode or chalan mode. So you are getting, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you are down, uh, downloading the chalan, then you can uh, uh, fill the chalan. Uh, you have to pay directly to the bank, SBI bank. So that is also option is also available. Uh, tentative date scheduled one, I mean, tier one computer based examination, December, 2022. So that uh, minimum three months of time uh, they given usually, actually we don't have a time by this time. We have only two months of time. It's supposed to be maybe the examination December first week or second week, expecting date or uh, last week of December. Tentative schedule of tier two computer base to be notified later so that uh, it would be notified later. Maybe it would be 2023. They will be conducting a second level of examinations. Next one, detail of the post so that um, there are a lot of department. Uh, they are given a, re a recruitment around. Uh, they are going to be filled 34 department, 34 to 35 department. So the very important post, the very important post is assistant audit officer. Only the Gazette officer post, assistant audit officer. So that the next one is assistant account officer. Everything should be belongs to group B category. The next one, assistant sectional officer. Uh, so sectional officer of Central Secretary Service, Intelligent Bureau, Ministry of Railway, Ministry of External Affairs. Then the next one, HQ. It's a headquarters. Actually, it's a headquarters of uh, sectional officer. The next one, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, other Ministry of Department, CPD, Central Board of Direct Tax, Indirect Tax, Indirect Tax Department. So Group C category, Group B categories. Then Central Bureau of Investigation, CBA officer, Sub-Inspector, Inspector Post of Department of Post, Ministry of Communication, then Narcotics. So that these are the attractive and lucrative jobs. So these are very attractive and lucrative jobs, Group B posting. So in the next one, divisional account, CAG, National Investigation Agency, Narcotics Control Bureau. So these are the posting. Uh, it, it, come on, it comes under the Group B category. So that um, here individually, the age is also given. Actually, the minimum age 18 and the maximum age is uh, 30 to 32. Only JSO, it's a maximum age 32. The rest of the post, 18 to 30 is the maximum age. At the same time, relaxation is also given based on the category wise, like um, even uh, OBC, like uh, OBC category plus three years age relaxation, SCST category, five years of age relaxation so that they can able to write 32 plus five, 37 if you are belong, belongs to SCST category. So you can able to write uh, uh, like 32 plus three OBC category, like uh, 32 plus 5, 37, SCST category. So the rest of the category also uh, given, relaxation is also given. Next one, essential qualification. Of course, essential qualification for assistant audit officer or assistant account officer. So you have to complete bachelor degree from a recognized university or institute. Desirable qualification, chartered account or cost and management, accountant or company. Secretary, Master in Commerce, Master in Business Studies, or Master in Business Administration, Finance, Master in Business in Economics. During the period of probation, direct recruit shall have to qualify the subordinate audit account service examination in respective branch for the confirmation and regular appoint appointments 
as assistant audit officer assistant account officer the second thing is junior statistical officer if you are going to apply junior statistical officer so the educational qualification bachelor degree in any subject from the recognized university or institute with at least 60 marks in mathematics as 12th standard level so 12th standard mathematics is a one of the subject so that if you have a one of the subject in mathematics in your 10th standard you have to score 60 marks at least minimum 60 percentage of the marks in mathematics or bachelor degree in any subject which starts one of the subject in the degree level you are eligible for jso right you are eligible for jso the rest of the post all other post bachelor degree for a recognized university or equivalent any any degree any stream any degree so the percentage is not required mathematics is not required so any post all other posts you will be eligible i mean if you are a degree graduate graduation if you complete the graduation you will be eligible for that but actually clearly given so that uh, they must be possess essential qualification on or before the cut off date 8 10 2022 if you are a final year student so before 8 10 2022 you will be getting a final year result All right so if you are getting final year result before 8 10 2022 you are eligible to apply this exam right next one actually many students uh, they are asking like that uh, they completed in uh, open university whether we are eligible for uh, eligible or not clearly given 8.6 as per UG Open and Distance Learning Regulation 2017, published in Official Gazette 23-6-2017, under part of 3.8, the program in Engineer, Medical, Dental, Nursing, Pharmacy, Architecture and Physiotherapy, etc. are not permitted to be offered under Open and Distance Learning mode, clearly given. The next one, however, Pursuant to the Honorable Supreme Court order dated 11 3 2019 in MA, number, of, uh, number is given and uh, this is not necessary. Um, uh, so, these are the AICTE and other BTEC degree diploma in engineering awarded by IGNO to the student who were enrolled up to the academic year 2009 10 shall be treated as valid. So, clearly given in the year also 2009 to 2010, it would be treated as a valid whether you can apply for this exam you will be applied for this exam if you have done a degree in igno between this year so that uh, you'll be eligible for this exam clearly given so that who will apply and who will not apply this exam clearly given 8.6 the next one how to apply so that how to apply so they given a sample um uh, I mean applications so you have to go through all the sample application so before that, once you read that detailed notification, you can be able to fill your applications, right? So the next one application must be submitted only in online mode, SSC headquarters like uh, sc.nic.in. So visit website sc.nic.in, you'll be uh, apply for the applications. Next one, so that uh, they're given how to apply everything. Fees payment, 100 rupees. So that fees payment is 100 rupees. Women category, there is no fees. SCST, women categories, there is no fees. So you have a fees exemption. So that other, they have to pay 100 rupees. Then center of examination, you will be check it out. So that um, center of examination is also given in the uh, notifications. Then scheme of examination, there are two tire. Actually, in the previous year, it has four tire, right? Tire 1, Tire 2, Tire 3, Tire 4. Here we have only Tire 2, Tire 1 and Tire 2. So only two. So there are schemes of examination. When I compare to the previous year, it would be reduced. The happy news is nothing but there is no descriptive writing. right? So there is no descriptive writing. There is no Tier 3 and there is no Tier 4 exam. So there, there is a lot of chances. Uh, they can, I mean, uh, those who are preparing for UPSC examination, TNPC examination, then uh, banking examination, SSC examination, other state examination, whatever it is. So you can able to write this exam. So once you are very strong in current affairs and GS, you can able to do that examination very easily. Right. So at the same time, the number of questions is also reduced. So let's see uh, examination pattern. So the scheme of tier one examination, there is nothing change in tier one. Whatever we have done in the previous year, a uh, same uh, section is given 
same uh, subject as given the scheme is also the same everything should be same like for example general intelligent reasoning 25 questions 50 marks each question two mark wherever they given each question two mark 0 0.50 is a penalty mark wherever they given three question three marks per question one mark is a penalty mark so here each question you have two marks so each section how many section there are four section general intelligent reasoning then aware general awareness quantitative aptitude english comprehension so these four section already we had done in the previous so nothing changed in tier one examination tier one examination english comprehension 25 question 50 marks quantitative aptitude 25 questions 50 marks general awareness 25 question 50 marks they are given composite timing reasoning 25 question 50 marks so one hour is the composite timing among i mean in that one hour so that is uh, you can choose any other section you can able to write any other uh, section so that uh, uh, will be uh, i mean they will be given time allowed only for one hour right so that one hour 20 minutes for the candidate eligible for scribe so that uh, ph candidate they can uh, they have uh, one hour 20 minutes of time the entire one mark will consist of the objective type multi choice question so here previous is also multi choice question so by this year also uh, multi choice question will be set both english and english uh, hindi except for english comprehension so except english comprehension you can you can you can be able to view both english and hindi right so there will be a negative mark 0 0.50 for each wrong answer at the same time in the previous year they are going to carry, I mean, those are, I mean, uh, tire one marks, tire one mark, which is carry over to the tire two mark. But here, tire one, it's only for qualification nature. So, this exam only for qualifying. So, those who are clear tire one examination, they can be able to write tire two. They are eligible for what? Tire two. It is only for, uh, I mean, qualifying, which is not carry over to the mark, which is never carry over to the second level, right? So, this is only for qualification. After you are qualifying, you can be eligible for TIE 2. So, what is the scheme of TIE 2 examination? It is completely different. When I compare to the previous year, they are going to be concentrate only two area. One is math, another one is English. <clears throat> math, 100 question. English, 200 question. So, two hours, two hours. So, four hours of time. So, that but here clearly given question is also reduced the number of question reduced like the section section one so section one module one and module two mathematics and the next one is reasoning and general reasoning Gen I mean general intelligence so that math and reasoning the first uh, section so that 30 marks 30 marks 30 marks in mathematics 30 marks in reasoning which is never change in the subject syllabus everything should be same even they asking last year they asking ages ratio percentage application math <clears throat> as well as half of the portion application math and half of the portion they covered advanced maths the same pattern never i mean actually question reduce but the pattern and syllabus nothing changes the same uh, advanced maths and application maths they are going to be asking 30 question only the previous year 100 question by this time they are asking only 30 question so the next one reasoning general intelligence actually previously there is no reasoning question paper but here reasoning section added so that 30 plus 30 60 question each question uh, <clears throat> each question they have ordered three marks so that uh, negative mark is one penalty mark is nothing but what one is a penalty mark actually wherever they given three marks each question one mark is a penalty mark wherever they given two marks in each question 0 0.50 is a penalty mark right okay Let's see 60 into 3. <clears throat> Actually, each question 3 mark or not. So 60 into 3, 180 mark. So they given one hour time. The next one, section 2, English language. Actually, in the previous year, English language, 20, 200 question asking. But here, just 45 questions. Same, whatever it is, active to passive, passive to active, synonyms, antonyms. Then after that, preposition. Then uh, uh, reading comprehension. Then fill in the blanks. So everything they are going to be asking in English just only for 45 questions. The next one, general awareness. This is a new one. It would be added general awareness. So general awareness, they are asking 25 questions. So half of the portion, like general studies, the remaining half of the portion, 
like current affairs for the past 6 month is very very important actually it is past one one year so the past 6 month is very important right so the past 6 month day by day day to day news is very important last 6 month issues so that 45 plus 20 70 questions each question 3 marks so 210 already 180 and this is also 210 so total 390 marks 390 marks right the next one section 3 computer knowledge mode 20 questions so each question they be, they would be giving 3 marks so that this is also 60 marks so 390 plus 60 total 450 marks total 450 marks they given 15 minutes of time so 2 hours 15 minutes so 2 hours 15 minutes there are five session one is math reasoning english general awareness then fifth one is computer knowledge model examination so actually computer model examination in 2012 2013 14 banking examination actually they asking computer knowledge in that type of question they asking so no need to worry about that so it will be very strong if you are very strong in like ms office and uh, networking database management you can able to answer it all the questions so this type of questions asking right so 15 minutes of time so total 450 marks the next one data entry speed test module so that uh, this is very very important because uh, actually which is uh, which is in the previous year which is on the fourth level but now so it is compulsory to all so it is compulsory to all data entry speed test so fingering is very important so that uh, uh, like uh, once you download like uh, typing master application then you can practice in your home that is very very important because um, you know, they given 15 minutes of time so you 2000 key impression you are giving a 2000 key impression even point comma is also included so 2000 key impression you have to given within 15 minutes of time so total 2 hours uh, 2 and a half hours actually 2 hours 30 minutes of examination 2 hours 30 minutes of examination and paper 2 and paper 3 it is not mandatory to all so only for the selective post so only for the selective post they are going to write paper 2 and paper 3 starts then paper 3 is nothing but finance and economics 100 question 100 question but they would be considered 200 marks 200 marks because each question you have two marks right so here two hours uh, given a time so in the two hours of time you will be writing paper 2 and paper 3 those who are choosing jso junior statistical officer assistant audit officer they can able to write they are i mean they are, they complete i mean they are, it is mandatory to write paper 2 and paper 3 right next one paper 2 consider i mean uh, uh, tier 2 marks it would be considered for the merit list but previous year tier 1 tier 2 mark it's carry over so they consolidate all the marks but by this time they consider only tier 2 marks so that the very happy news is they consider only tier 2 marks so once you clear tier 1 you are eligible for tier 2 so the tier 2 mark they are going to be taking for the merit ranking right then next one everything should be objective and multiple choice of questions there is no written type of questions so that there is no descriptive paper syllabus clearly given whatever we have done in the previous year same syllabus same reasoning non verbal verbal part then uh, general awareness day to day events current events scientific aspect uh, so that uh, these are the question asking economic scene general policy scientific research history culture geography then aptitude application sums advanced math sums even geometry trigonometry algebra so if you are very strong in advanced maths and application maths so you can it is very easy because uh, math and reasoning is very easy so here merit ranking it consider only for the general studies so start your preparation for general studies start preparing for newspaper reading then start preparing for from 6th standard to 10th standard ncert book for general studies physics chemistry biology then culture art then after that uh, social issues so you have to concentrate all those things geography history everything right then tier 2 syllabus is also given then computer language is given central processing unit input output device right next one window operating system 
that's what i say in 2012 banking examination 2011 2012 2010 they asking like this this type of questions so what my guessing is uh, maybe they asking that type of questions so you no need to worry about that so once you are very strong in this area they can asking very easy questions they never asking very uh, difficult question so you'll be facing only easy question basic computer and cyber security that's it the next one paper 3 syllabus given paper 2 syllabus given stats syllabus finance and management syllabus all the syllabus clearly given then selection post tier 1 it's only for qualifying then tier 2 they would be taking what a merit list tier 2 only for merit list they are considered for a merit list so tier 2 mark is very important clearly given 16.11 merit list will be prepared on the basis of overall performance of candidate in tier 2 examination only so clearly mentioned tier 1 mark which is not carry over so they consider only tier 2 this is one of the happiest news actually so those who are ssc aspirant definitely they will be very happy once you see this so that um, uh, they are they are getting a more chances to clear the examination ssc aspirants so next um, the last thing they given sample sample page is given how you are going to fill this application how to fill the basic detail they given sample copy at the same time what are the uh, uh, information as given in the applications then how you are going to upload the your photo and signature if it is blur it is not accepted so your your application is completely rejected so that's what i say you have to see in all those things so clearly given how to upload your image how to upload your signature so everything is given right if your photo like blur definitely your how to upload your photos even photo sample is also given you have to see like this so don't wear specs photos don't upload uh, with the go uh, goggles photos so no need to do that okay so clearly photo is also given right so once you read that then you have to fill the your application so please avoid last minute of uh, closing date of applications so uh, try to fill application before 8 10 2022 thank you see you on next class thank you